Now to my favorite piece. Um, this is my favorite part of the ceremony. I'd like to welcome Dagita Shrester, who was highly recommended by the College of Engineering, IT and Environment, one of our graduates today who will speak on behalf of the graduating cohort. Dagita. Thank you, Mum. A very great afternoon to our Honorable Minister for Corporate and Digital Development, Nari Akit, our Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, my fellow colleagues, and all the loved ones present in this room today. I'm Digita Sresta, currently am finally graduated from Masters in IT Cybersecurity. It is an immense pleasure for me to be, the, to be representing the graduates and speak on behalf of all of my fellow colleagues. Firstly, I would like to start by acknowledging the country that we are standing on today, the Larakia Nation. I would like to pay my respect to the traditional custodians of this land we are standing on today, to their past, present, and emerging. Next, I would also like to graduate, um, congratulate all the graduates who have been, like, let's give a round of applause, everyone. All of us deserve a huge round of applause. So, congratulations to all of us. We've worked really hard, and this is the time to rip off, right? And, yeah, moving on, I would like to thank our CDU, Charlestown University, for giving us a platform to learn, grow, upskill, and also gain the knowledge as well. Thank you to all the professors for your continuous support throughout these two years of journey, starting from Dr. Sami, Dr. Varani Dharan, Dr. Mamun, Freezer, Cherry, Charles, CDU Career Center, and also everyone who's been supporting us directly and indirectly. Being an international student and coming to Australia with high ambition of achieving something and pursuing my dreams and goals of becoming a better person, making my parents proud of me, and not knowing where to go and what would be a better decision for me? I am coming to Sydney when I was 18 back in 2016. I did my Certificate 3, Certificate 4, Diploma and Bachelor's in IT in Network Security in Sydney at TAFE, New South Wales. Then I took a major decision that changed my life. I thought of of Sydney and a place where I knew no one where I can create my self-identity by myself. Seeking for more opportunities and for my further study, I came to this small yet beautiful city called Darwin to study masters in IT at Charles Darwin University. In the very beginning, it was pretty challenging for me because especially the weather was very challenging. Coming straight from seven degree to 27 degree, it was pretty hard for me, but yeah. I started my master's degree on 2020, and it definitely was a great opportunity for me to be studying on the, one of the finest universities of Australia. I was super impressed with the teaching methods of the professors. Since day one, I always felt that I was part of CDU, and I'm very much proud of that. I made new friends, got to know about the lifestyle over here in Darwin, and this place was very welcoming. For me, myself being an extrovert, I got a chance to be around beautiful people who were my classmates, and today we are graduating together. It's my pleasure for me to be sharing this stage together. Being a full-time student and working part-time, likewise being involved in community activities, definitely, there were lots of challenges on time management and not knowing what to do, where to go, and why am I doing what am I doing. But the continuous support of my parents, my beloved husband, professors, my mentor, and my colleagues, I've been able to be here where I am today. I've, I'm, I've always been keen to be around multicultural environment, and I can never think that there is any other better place than CDU for having the multicultural environment, and I'm very much thankful of that. Despite having English as my second language and Australia as my second home, I've never felt any barrier or any discrimination. The professors were more than ready to help me if I asked any questions. If I asked for any available opportunities, they were always ready to support me and engage the students on social activities, due to which we were also learning about the team, being able to do more networking and explore ourselves as well. When I was on my first semester, I still remember that um, 
lots of the alumni of CDU and also my seniors, they used to say that there is a great event called CDU IT Code Fair, which is huge and massive. And on the very first semester, I participated on it and saw how CDU thinks about students and becoming a bridge in between the students and industry professionals. That time, I was able to see everyone striving beyond and above with their projects and to become better. I also got a chance to be on the speed dating interview as well. On giving the interview, I got to see the perspective on how professional interview looked like. And next year, on my last, sem on my last semester, I was able to participate on two of the competitions and won both of the competition as winner. And not only that, but I was also selected as the panel speaker on CDU IT Code Fair, and it was such a privilege for me. I often heard from many students that to land on a professional IT career, you either have to become a permanent resident or Australian citizen. That time, I was telling myself that I will be working on IT while I'm on my student phase, no matter what improvements I have to do to myself. And I remember my mentor mentioning me um, that Digita, you first have to become the person you want to be, to um, and you need to do what you need to do to have the result that you want to have. I always had that triggered on my mind, so I had promised myself that I will definitely work on myself, but I will jumpstart my corporate career on my dream company when I'm on my student phase. So I wrote on my notebook that I work at NEC, I'm getting good paid. I exactly can't remember how many times I wrote that, but I kept on writing every day. And on the second last semester, before the second last semester actually, what started, I got the part-time role at NEC as service desk level and service desk analyst level two. And moving on from service desk analyst to EUC engineer and now working as graduate network engineer, it really means a lot to me because this is what I had dreamt of which is why I studied network security. So folks, I just wanted to address that we should never give up on our dreams, no matter whatever people will say, until and unless we have faith and believe on ourselves. And being a part of CDU IT Student Association, I started volunteering and slowly started becoming the master of ceremony, also known as NC. And while I was a student, I got a chance to become the MC on many different events, such as Software Freedom Day, Australian Information Security Association's Cybersecurity Conference, thanks to Professor Varani, Harmony Food Festival, and also I was awarded as the CDU Women Collective for Innovation and Change finalist. Not only that, during my study here, I've learned so much, um, not only about the core subject units, but also learned how to wear different hats on different situations, making sure that my priorities would not hamper my studies, balancing the full-time study with part-time work, focusing on personal growth, and participating and being involved on social activities. So I've always focused on managing everything together along with my studies, not compromising my studies because my parents have worked so hard for that. And these two past years have been very precious for me because I've tried to make most out of this time and become a better version of myself every day, starting with the positive self-talk. One of the positive self-talk that I always did was to see my parents over here with me. And I've got my mom standing, sitting down over there. After six and a half years, I got to meet her today. And my dad might be watching the video on the live somewhere. I miss you. And my brother too. So <clears throat> thank you very much to my parents, to my family for making me an independent lady, passing me the course, core values, and also letting me pursue my dreams without any distraction or any disruption at all. Thank you very much for that. One more person without whose support I wouldn't see myself standing over here is my beloved husband, Sandeep. I've always heard that there is a woman behind every man's success, but for me, it was him behind my every success. Thank you very much for everything, and I love you. Thank you very much. 
Lastly, I would like to congratulate to all my fellow colleagues who may have been through somehow similar journey of mine or maybe different, but being able to go through thicks and thins and being graduated from one of the most reputed University of Australia, Charles Darwin University. So it is a very precious day for all of us. So let's cheer and enjoy. Now it is time for us to give it back to the community and pay it, pay it forward because we make city, right? And finally, all the very best and may God bless. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dagita. Never give up on your dreams or your passwords, right? Um, please accept these flowers as a token of our appreciation. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. <laughs>